Good day everyone, it's Professor Gugis, and I'm here to talk a little bit about radio. Not going to be a long lecture today, but a couple of things that are um, worth talking about because I help you understand a little bit about the economy of radio. So what I'm going to talk about is local airwave type radio, uh, AM um, on your radio stations that you pick up on your AM dial, traditionally talk radio, local news, local weather, that sort of thing, and then satellite radio. And we're going to talk about, for the first one, airwave radio, we're going to talk about the economic reasons for its survival. And then for satellite radio, we're going to talk a little bit about economies of scale and why it's evolved the way that it has. So first, let's talk about traditional airwave radio. Okay, that's where you get your local news, that sort of thing. Well, why does that exist still? Well, it's pretty simple actually. Um, local radio is, airwave radio, is exactly that. It's local. You have local stations that cover small geographic areas. When I say small, I mean things like Los Angeles or the greater Los Angeles area, as opposed to a larger one, which would be like North America. So why do these exist? Because they serve the economic needs of advertisers who are geographically located. If you have a car dealership or a grocery store and it's located in Santa Monica, you're really not all that interested in reaching uh, potential customers in San Diego or Barstow or San Francisco, and you're definitely not interested in reaching somebody in Tucson, Arizona. Okay. So, local radio exists because it's a very efficient way, a very efficient way to get um, for local advertisers to reach the audience that it wants to reach. The other reason that it works really well in areas like Southern California is that there's a whole bunch of people in that geographic region. Okay, If there's three people and you want to advertise to them, um, you just kind of roll on out to their house and go, hey, hey, how are you guys doing? Want to buy a car? <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, in Los Angeles, as a radio executive told me a while back, he said there's uh, the number of people in their cars in Southern California at any given moment are roughly equal to the number of people or greater than the number of people in most cities in the United States. So radio serves as a relatively inexpensive, relatively effective way to reach a whole bunch of people in a small geographic region. And that's kind of what the function of local radio or airway radio has evolved into. Okay. Um, now, the second part, satellite radio, actually has um, a component of airwave radio in it as well. Now this is traditionally on what we're going to call the FM band. And this is usually what we, where we find music as opposed to talk and news and sports and that sort of thing. Okay? So what's happened there? Well, um, what we have evolved into is something that can be explained in the economic terms of economies of scale. Okay. Um, simply put, there's no reason to have a radio station that, well, let's pick a music genre, um, let's say uh, focuses on uh, 80s heavy metal music, okay, 1980s heavy metal music. Okay. There's no economic reason anymore to have a DJ in San Francisco, a DJ in St. Louis, a DJ in New York City, and a DJ in LA all playing the same exact um, music. Okay? Um, turns out we're just not that interested in the individual DJs. Okay? That was sort of a function of we became interested in the DJs because we were interested in listening to the music. So what's happened? Well on the FM dial and especially now in satellite radio you have one programmer and who programs the music, and that music is broadcast via satellite or via the FM band to pretty much everybody on the planet. Okay? And it's just because it's a lot cheaper to do that. There's a lot less duplication of personnel and effort. 
those um, those stations, satellite and FM band, simply func uh, function on the local level because they are very simply, excuse me, they're very simply um, basically advertising um, entities. And even at the satellite or the FM uh, radio um, band uh, level, you can, you essentially buy a program. You have all the music, it's already played, it's already, lump, you know, uh, assembled, and you have um, slots, time slots in that, let's say, an hour long program where local advertisers and national advertisers can buy time slots and they put their commercials in there, and that's the way that they reach those audiences, okay? But um, what we've seen, first in the FM um, band, and you're all probably familiar with Jack FM, okay? and then an expansion of that, the satellite uh, radio, what you've seen is an economy of scale where if one person, if one person or one programming entity can create a program that can then be transmitted to the entire world, and do an adequate job of gathering an audience, then that's what's happened. So, this explains why when you drive from one city to another, the local news station sounds different, but you turn it on satellite radio and you hear the exact same thing. And you flick it onto the FM dial and you hear not just music that sounds similar to what you heard back in your home city, but it actually is identical to the music that you heard back in your home city. I'm Professor Gugis. Thank you for listening.